The Pavilion Project from its outset was envisioned by Penn Medicine as clearly the largest project that we've ever undertaken and also intended to be flagship building for the health system. Penn Medicine has been a leader in innovation. What we wanted to do with this project was to use something called the Integrated Project Delivery Contracting Methodology. We really wanted to focus on this is a 100-year building and making decisions early from a facility perspective that are going to last those 100 years. It was a relatively untested delivery method at this scale. So we knew we were pretty much writing the book on IPD at this level. Frankly, the vision from Penn Medicine saying that this is going to happen, that was the motivating factor that really kept all of us on task. We essentially had a mandate to create a small footprint down on that campus. We wanted to be able to either minimize, eliminate, or at the very least control trucks to and from the site. Because of the museum, the proximity of the train station, we were kind of landlocked. We had very little lay down space to work and build the project. Early estimates were for a workforce that would be somewhere in the range of 11 or 1200 people over a four and a half year period. And so all that does is add more traffic to and from the areas. So given the scale of this project, we have a 1.5 million square foot, billion dollar plus job. We had to really be creative with how we thought outside the box. This was a perfect project for offsite manufacturing. But that's when we begin to think, well, let's look at the project and determine what elements that are repetitive in nature that fit certain criteria. And that's where we started to evolve the suite of offerings that became what we now know as the, the OSM group. The Penn First team is a cross-discipline architecture, engineering, and construction team that also includes the owner. So what's really special about this is the owner had the ability to engage and provide clinicians, feedback of doctors, of their engineers, of the facilities. They really completed the team with a full owner perspective. HDR allowed us to help them design for prefabrication. We wanted to make sure we were engaging all the right stakeholders and decision makers from the beginning stages of the project. At one point, we got to 40 or 50 unique bathrooms and through the process of the entire team working together, we we're able to get it back down to four unique bathroom pods. BR Plus A and Southland were working together in the same live Revit model, hand in hand. So anything we did, they could validate in real time. To date, I think spent 20, 25,000 hours modeling the project, which is a huge upfront cost that you wouldn't normally do. But in this case, it's really paid off. A huge educational tool was 3D printing and actually printing out, hey, this is what the rack's gonna look like with all its detail and be able to put it on someone's desk and show them this is, this is what we're gonna build in the building. That was a pretty powerful tool. The Pen First project was designed around prefabrication. One of the elements that needed to be considered was the bathroom pods. Pods became a, a marquee offsite manufacturing issue because it was a high finished product, relatively easy to manufacture and bring to the job and would advance the work. So in terms of the criteria for success, it was pretty high on the list. And then we knew, by the way, that we also had a group of contractors who had expertise to do that and control the delivery of these items, which ultimately assisted the schedule. So it started to be a win-win proposition very quickly. Philadelphia, from a construction stance, is a very strong union town. They have specific work delineations and prefabrication starts to blur those lines. We started talking about OSM with the unions very early in the project. We started showing them what some of our initiative were and did a lot of work to get their buy-in. It's complicated and it takes discussion, it takes negotiating, and it takes sitting down and finding the right decision. PenFav is our offsite manufacturing facility space, and that's where our racks and pods and other prefabbed elements were assembled. It is 50,000 square feet, and it's about a mile away from the job, which was key in transporting all of the manufactured pieces to the job site. We have the facility split up, manufacturing racks on the right and pods on the left. Each independent team is working in a cellular manufacturing environment. They have production schedules that meet the job schedule, we had to tailor every activity, break it down into an eight hour duration, and understand how those pieces work together in order to keep that cadence week by week. That facility is the brainchild of the people performing the work. That's the difference, and that's why it's so successful. The Penn First team used a cloud-based software that allows us to collaboratively punch lists, finish elements of the product, 
It allows us to really track those items that do come up as an issue until they are fully resolved. We would rectify anything in that punch list, and that way every unit that went out is pristine. We were able to figure out and discover any potential issues that would have normally been caught on the job site six months before we would ever figure that out. Because we followed the QA, QC processes that we had put in place and, and continued to refine those QA, QC processes, at the end of the project, the transition from construction to actual operation for the hospital should be much smoother. One of the main benefits of the off-site manufacturing is we were able to take advantage of crane use. So instead of having crane use during the day with loading material, we were able to load it at night. We're able to deliver 15 $30,000 units a night. That's $450,000 of completed inventory in an eight-hour shift with four people. The amount of manpower that is not in that project right now as a result of those bathrooms being already constructed is huge. Then there's a the productivity element. And it's pretty thrilling to get to the job the next morning and see that you've laid 80 to 100 feet of multidisciplinary trade racks where the day before you had nothing. It also sets a tone and a drumbeat to the job in terms of the sequence and flow. We've simplified the process to the point where the truck shows up, they get delivered to the floor where they're going, and on the surface it looks pretty easy. But when you really think about it, you're looking at months and months of work being delivered in a matter of minutes. This is the best part about the racking system. The fact that we kept one third of the material off of the job site this particular project has 50, 60 electro rooms that are identical. We're saving about 12 to 14 percent labor overall, which is a huge amount of money. And when you compare it to the effort that it would have taken to build it traditionally, it's almost a wonder how we ever built these things in a non-prefabrication environment. We created an environment that was indoors, at grade level, a clean environment that was well lit, which allows them to just be more productive Taking employees off ladders and out of lifts is one of the single biggest things we can do as an industry to create a safer working environment. When we do our incident review on injuries, we usually find that out of sequence work and a lack of planning are two key causal components. So OSM really swings the dial back in our favor. And all the way through, you're eliminating thousands of man hours from the project site. You're putting them in a position to be as safe as they possibly can be off-site versus on-site. The approach at PenFab is basically the utopia of construction. If we could make all construction sites feel like a manufacturing facility and operate like a manufacturing facility, we could eliminate manpower, downtime, and waste that you would learn through the lean principles. We could eliminate defective work, and we could also maintain our schedules and productivity because we are as efficient as we possibly could be. And PenFab was exactly that. Offsite manufacturing is the way of the future. We are trying to educate our local markets. We are trying to educate our design partners. We are trying to educate our owners to seeing these advantages so that when we start looking at jobs in the beginning, they understand why we want to be involved early on in the process, why we want to be a decision maker at the table and we're not just a contractor anymore.